Hey guys, Giovanni here uh, with Vocal Motors and ArmyCoCreate.com. Just wanted to give you a little update on our progress so far with the Terex 750 project, the mobile command post project. Um, as you can see, we finished the uh, hood design. You can see how it's, uh, we've kept serviceability in mind. That was from direct input from the soldier involved in that process. Uh, we've got a modular winch. That was also requested by active duty soldiers, so this winch is going to be able to be moved to the rear over here. We were working with a local company that makes military seating uh, to develop a seating package that's appropriate. So if you remember us talking before from armycocreate.com, they had a specific request for modularity in the seating to allow soldiers to sit there with a full combat load. So this has no lower lumbar support, but we're going to mod have that modified to where uh, it uses something not unlike this seat where you can remove the inner pouch to allow for somebody with a camelback to sit back there. We're keeping uh, that soldier with full battle rattle in mind in the, in the further the development process of this vehicle. Uh, so much so that a litter is going to be able to be supported on this front hood. Uh, the radio mounts, um, they, they originally wanted them uh, seven inches forward, but if we want to have a litter on this vehicle, uh, we we're going to have to push those forward a bit, and we've taken care to make sure that doesn't affect the ergonomics of the whole vehicle. Um, what we're working on today is the Carson's over here working on the uh, Molly platform that we're going to have over here to allow for mounting of uh, ancillary supplies or your personal defense weapon. Um, and that's, that's what we've got going on today. We're probably going to start on the rear bed here shortly. So if you want to know more, check out armycocreate.com. And if, for those of you who, who may not understand exactly what Armor Co Create is, uh, it's a forum, it's a website where you can actually submit ideas that can be realized by engineers or makers in the industry. Uh, right now, the traditional procurement method uh, forces the soldier or anybody who has a great idea. If they want an idea made for the military or used from the Department of Defense, it will take seven years to get a prototype. Um, and that's without heavy involvement from the uh, actual user. This is one of the first and few times where active duty soldiers actually participated in the development of their prototype uh, within five days. And if you would like to know more about that process, specifically the mobile command post, check out armycocreate.com, or if you have an idea or a solution that you want to see uh, a solution made for, um, you can submit an idea or critique a design on armycocreate.com.